So, I've been doing this for 35 years and I still don't know what my handout says. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We're gonna go see a two-year-old who apparently has constipation. Oh, we should go. Hey, how you guys doing? All good. Good to see you. So what kind of snacks you got there? Snacks. You got snacks. snacks. Those are good looking Veggie snacks. Sticks. What happened here? You got owie. Uh, you got owie? Uh, did you fall? Yeah. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> He's ready, man. That's great. He likes those snacks. But while he's snacking, you can fill me in on what's been going on. Sure. So we recently started potty training. Um, that was like on the 23rd of July about. Um, and he took to great. We've been slowly introducing it. Um, yeah. But we just kind of went for it, undies and the whole bit. Um, and for PB, it's great. And he always never makes a mistake. OK. Uh, but when it comes to going poo, he's clamming up. And so he had one mistake in his underwear and then um, has just been not going after that. Okay. How long ago did you start potty training? A couple weeks ago. Well, this is brand new. So yeah. just since potty training, he doesn't want to use the toilet. Correct. Um, oh. he does, but, and after like a day or two of trying or, he'll, you know, he's been um, dusting his underwear a lot. And so yeah. would, every time we go to the restroom, we notice there's, there's some um, some poo on his underwear, so we have to change it. And yeah. When when they do actually come out, we have to put it. We end up just like, okay, we're just gonna put a diaper on them just so he can get comfortable and yeah. get it back out. And yeah. when that happens, they're pretty like muddy and kind of sticky, and okay. um, it seems like it really struggles to come out. He's yeah. he's really really pushing. And prior to the potty training two weeks ago, what were his bowel movements like? Um, they were, I mean, all over. A little bit of math. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How often would he go? Every day or every other day. Okay. And so now it's been almost two weeks and he's probably only gone like four or five times in the whole time. Okay. And of course, after I made the appointment today, he went, but... <laughs> what did that one look like today? Yeah, uh, Play-Doh. Like... So drier a little bit even A little bit than, dry, than it's just very like... Mommy. Dense. This yeah. says... Painful bowel movements occasionally can have blood or have hard stools. You can have stomach aches and they can be relieved by having a bowel movement. That sounds true. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, yeah. and he's really struggling to get it out. Okay. I can tell. It's, Did it act like it hurt for him to get it out or it's just difficult? It's just difficult. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't yelling out or anything. It was just like really, um, really, really pushing and face okay. bright red. What's his diet like in terms of dairy intake? Um, he has a little dairy. We'll do like string cheese or, mm -hmm. you know, the occasional quesadilla or slice of pizza, but, um, he doesn't drink milk. Okay. Um, he'll do like almond milk for cereal. Yeah. Yes, buddy. Soiling your underpants with a small amount of liquid stool can also be from constipation. What that is, is you can have so much hard stool in your rectum that some loose stool just leaks around it. The hmm. hard stool's too large to fit out easily, so it sort of just gets stuck there. Hmm. Okay, oh, you have pretty hearts on your shirt. Look at that. He's here to check your this belly. This one's pink, this one's black, that one's white. Hearts of all different colors. All different color hearts. Do you have a belly button? You have Where a belly is that? Button. Ah. There's your <laughs> belly button. Let's see how your tummy feels. Dun, 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 dun. So, the colon, you know, your food goes down your, your stomach, There's your tummy. and then through the intestines, and then the colon goes like this, down and out. Okay. So, if you get really plugged up, it's the colon down here that gets really, really rock hard. So, I'm just feeling sure. right in that area to see if I can feel a log. And this is perfect if he's relaxed and bending the flexing like this helps him relax in that area so I can get a little deeper without him resisting it. He's and, feeling your belly. Yep. And based on the story, I'm not <laughs> expecting. Is that tickles? <laughs> That's funny. I'm not expecting to feel a real big old log. Hmm. And I don't. Uh, some what? of the things you can do is increase fluids, avoid dairy. Dairy is very constipating for most people. 
some juices, uh, pear juice, apple juice can occasionally make things worse. You have to be careful about that. Prunes, prune juice really works well for constipation. What happens is the, this large intestine down to the rectum and out is where our body reabsorbs water so mm -hmm. we don't get dehydrated. Okay. Right, so the food moves through, gets absorbed, stuff that needs to be excreted passes on and then it goes that final path and that's when water gets drawn back into the body. If we kept losing all our fluids with our poop, we'd get dehydrated Correct. if we weren't drinking yeah. it. Well, the longer it stays in the colon and rectum, the drier it's gonna get because mm. that process just continues. Oh. So I think that explains over the last two weeks that your potty training, his stools are going from soft to mud to more sticky mm -hmm. to Play-Doh, right? They're just getting harder and harder, right. which makes it a little harder to pass. Okay. Uh, so I think that's all explained by that. Uh, it's interesting. They talk about increasing fiber when you're constipated, but that's a two-edged sword because if you get too much fiber and you don't get enough fluids, you're actually bulking the stool. Mm. So if you get large, harder stool, that can make things worse. So fiber is great provided you're adding lots and lots of fluids. And so where to move forward? He, you know, by definition, he's not really constipated, but but it's he's headed there, right? Yes, if it continues. Um, yeah, it definitely he's headed there. And uh, what we want to do is make sure we assist him in every way possible to stay soft and regular. Okay. Now. Fiber. Uh, maybe. So, okay. So, so yeah, natural fibers from real fruits and vegetables, perfect. Okay. Dairy is very constipating, especially the cheeses. Mm -hmm. So maybe cut way back or cut that out completely for sure. a little bit. Um, and that might be all you need to do. Make sure he's drinking enough. What else does he drink? Pretty much only water. Water. So great. Yeah, lots of water, water, lots of fruits and vegetables, less or even no cheese, less dairy, maybe no cheese. And um, I think just that will help. Mm -hmm. But then there's certain foods you want to decrease, particularly cheese, yogurt, ice cream, dairy in general. So drinking too much milk can cause problems and you might want to try alternatives, almond milk, rice milk, coconut milk. That, now, that would not be for a breastfeeding child. We're talking in this case a two-year-old or over. There's a piece I'm almost certain here because of its relationship to the potty training that he's avoiding going because he's not, he hasn't quite figured out, I don't think, will he tell you when he needs to poop and go to the toilet? Um. He knows when he needs to. Um, we, we, I gave him a nice warm bath the other day to try to like soften some things yeah. up in there, get him a little more relaxed. And when we were in the tub, he was like, I gotta go, I gotta go. So I brought him from the tub yeah. to the, to the, and we did that a few times, mm -hmm. but he wasn't like able to perform. Something yeah. that I'm wondering is, every time he uses, you know, he's going poo and his, when he wears a diaper, he's usually like very concentrated on something. He's uh -huh. building a track, a car track or a tower or something. So he goes best when he's distracted. Right, so when I stick him on the toilet yeah. or on All his little body. All of a sudden performance. Yes, here. and he's mm -hmm. bored. And yeah. so it's like, how do I, you know, I don't yeah. want to just stick an iPad and, in front of him. And does he have a little kid's potty chair or you just have a, child, a seat on we the big both. one? We have both. Yeah, the potty chair typically stays in the car in case we're like out and about. Okay. Because um, some kids will just do better, they'll relax more if it's kind of their size, mm -hmm. whereas they're a little more intimidated with the big toilet. Okay. So that's one thing to consider, and I think I would take take to, to heed your observation that he likes to be distracted mm -hmm. and help him be distracted, whether you're reading a story or you've got something he can use to do his hands while okay. he's needing to go. Carrots, bananas, chips, pizza, refined foods, instant mashed potatoes, frozen dinners, prepackaged meals can also be associated with constipation. That's a fact, right? The highly refined stuff is not so good for our intestinal health. You're better off getting real food, natural foods, the, the foods that have fiber, fruits and vegetables. Um, I hate to go backwards and like have to put him back in diapers every time, you know, but I mean, uh, if he's not ready. Yeah, agreed. And, and time will tell, right? Yeah. It sounds like you're really close. He's telling you when he needs to go. Yeah. So he's ready. He's ready to be trained. It's just doing it in a way that hopefully won't backfire. I mean, the, the one thing we want to avoid is it getting so hard that it hurts to go. And then if, if you're thinking about pushing a hard rock through and it tears, mm then they really avoid going. I bet. Because it yeah. hurts, right? <laughs> I would too. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like, yeah, you, you can imagine skin yeah, tearing is a sharp good. pain. And then kids are just holding, holding, holding and just 
really gets tough. Okay. So we want to keep him Mommy, soft. My so it's, tummy hurts. Your, your tummy, tummy Let's feel your tummy. Let's let him feel. Let let's the feel that feel. tummy hurt. Is that where it hurts? Oh, don't, Is that better? Tickles. Tickles. So I, I think the behavioral piece related to potty training is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. If you can avoid putting him back in pull-ups, great. That would obviously be ideal. Yeah, well, we do them like when he's sleeping because yeah. he's not quite trained in yep. that sense yet. Exactly. But, um, and, and how about, um, are, is he getting, so for peeing in the toilet, he's got that down? Mm -hmm. He just tells you and he goes? Yep. You, you're there to he's help there, him? Yeah. Or? yeah, we're there to help him and you know it's usually like, mommy, Got yeah. a pee -pee so that's awesome. Give him lots of kudos, verbal, yay, good mm -hmm. job, hug afterwards, lots of love. Okay. Right? Lots of just. We were doing a sticker chart, but I think yeah. we've gone so many times now that we kind of like lost, lost track of interest in that. Yeah. And so we've been trying to do like a like a reward maybe for mm -hmm. the poo poo, but it's just not. Yeah. So so love. Big love enough reward, I guess. Right. <laughs> love and attention is always always what kids love. Okay. So just and then even when he sits on the toilet, if he doesn't actually go, still good job, okay. right? So early on, we want to encourage him just to try. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if he's successful or not, just for the time being. Mm -hmm. So till he's really got it down, and then you can sort of start weaning him off of the praise. Okay, yeah, every single time. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to be yeah, he's going to be on there every five <laughs> minutes. You like get that loving. Are we boring you, buddy? He's getting sleepy. He's like, just, well, yeah, you know, you're, boring nap, so you're boring me. You're boring me. All right. Do you like stickers? You want a sticker? Okay. Let me ask mommy if she has any questions, okay? Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. <laughs> um, do you recommend like any sort of like probiotic or like supplement that he can take that can help him stay regular? We eat a ton of fruits and vegetables yeah. already, so I'm kind that, of like... Oh. That's an awesome question. And uh, so... Prunes, prune juice works great to soften stool. Magnesium works great. Is that like the Calm powder? I have mm -hmm. that at home. That, that could work in okay. that way. Vitamin C at higher doses starts to make stool loose. Okay. And you, you know, if you take too much vitamin C, you just pee out the rest. Right. So you can bump that up to to whatever dose starts to, to work. Okay. In that regard, uh, so I'd probably just start with those things, mm -hmm. and then the the prune juice or prunes. Um, that should do it, okay. along with cutting out the dairy. And then I think it's just figuring out this behavioral piece so that it's no oh, stress. Oh, that's the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the hardest part. And then you'll be all set. You can go poo poo in the toilet. Yeah, yeah like a pee pee. And pee pee in the toilet too. Like you a wanna, big boy, huh? You wanna do that? Go poo poo in the toilet? That'd be a good <laughs> idea? Yeah, okay. We'll think about it. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's close. I think, you're right. gonna, I think you're gonna conquer this one. All right. Yeah, and do come back if you're worried. Uh, you guys, this was just the very beginning stages of developing constipation, so it's kind of a nice story to get. So you just see, okay, catch it early. I bet you guys will be fine in another week or two. Yeah. Because it's not been long standing, and if, if you're getting into worse trouble, come back. For sure. Yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm Dr. Paul. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I wearing my mask out here? I can't breathe. Oh, that's right. I'm in a medical facility. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get that back on there.